Okay, so guys, I want you to see the culprit on my desk ruining my reading. Come here. Come here. She's like ripping up my tablecloth. This is her. This is the culprit. She's destroying my reading. This is for my soap reading. And I just want you to got you guys to know. Get the heck, get the heck off my table. Get off my table. You're stepping on my cards. Oh my, oh my God. What the? Well, there you go. I, I hope that was like an extra bit of fun for you guys. My cat has interrupted my reading and I will be starting very soon, okay? Hey everyone, welcome to the Lion's Den. <clears throat> I'm back with a soap reading. So today we're gonna be doing um, Yoongi and J-Hope. Um, I was going to um, do it originally before. You'll see that when that got interrupted by my cat, um, by my little kitten, but um, I had to scrap that because computer issues and so now I'm doing a brand new one. Um, Follow me on Twitter. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're aware when I post a video. Um, and let's just get started. Okay, so starting off with Yoongi. Okay, so let's talk about, uh, yeah, you see I have a new deck. Um, I didn't really do a walkthrough from this because it's a mini version. And I'm getting the larger one soon. But um, So the romantic energy behind Yoongi's feelings for J-Hope is getting to know each other, romantic feelings, and wedding. And so what I'm getting from all three of these is they're still, or from his side, he's still very much feeling Hobie out. And he's very much feeling um, like really knowing where um, he stands in his relationship with him, um, kind of trying to figure out uh, how to work and cooperate with um j-hope without sort of pushing his buttons um i feel like yoongi is one that is capable of pushing j-hope's buttons easily if he wants to um there the romantic feelings card comes out saying that there is romantic feelings from his part um also the wedding comes out but the wedding to me is talking more about liking the energy of soap liking to be together partnership um just their whole, you know, the whole soap brand. He really likes that duo. He likes them together. Um, he probably would like them together a lot musically as well, right? So let's just go ahead and leave that there. And then we're going to go into the energy behind J-Hopes, which I only got one card, which is finances and career. So finances and career, J-Hope is basically strictly business. J-Hope is kind of on a strictly business scale with Yoongi, right? Where Yoongi has, he does have romantic feelings as well as business. Um, you would think that the wedding card would be talking more about romantic feelings, but like I said before, it's actually more business from Yoongi as well. Romantic feelings card itself is actually talking about his romantic feelings, if that made sense to you guys. Okay, um, so... The cards that came out, the tarot that came out are the Ace of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles, um, Two of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles. Okay? So I'm only reading uprights today. but um, So basically what I'm getting is Yoongi feels like his relationship with J-Hope is sort of like they're beginning this, this um, sort of like almost a very good partnership that can both, that can promote them, that can propel them financially. Like let's say if Yoongi writes, um, um, makes music or instrumentals or songs for J-Hope and J-Hope sings them or J-Hope being on the track, he feels like, um, first of all, he's seeing J-Hope is coming up as the princess of Pentacles. So to him, J-Hope has more of a feminine energy. Um, but um, 
he feels like they, with um, Two of Pentacles, balance each other out very well, that they're very good work partners, business partners. He thinks that they complement each other very well. And he thinks with the Ten of Pentacles in the end that they can bring each other wealth and fortune. He thinks, basically, he's like, him and J-Hope will make a great partnership and make a lot of money for um, themselves and the company. Okay, so that's something that he wants. I know this is like not necessarily in the sort of romantic way, but you can call this reading a sort of romance slash friendship reading, okay? Um, so, or slash general, either way. This is just what's going on with them. So J-Hope, on the other hand, um, this is something that came out the first time I attempted to do the reading where my cat kind of messed it up. J-Hope has been hurt by some things that Yungi said, right? It like some Yungi had said something to him. Like it's kind of similar to how um I think it's like G Cook and V Cook, whichever, they've been kind of saying some hurtful things back and forth to each other because you know they argue sometimes. Nobody's perfect, you know, just like family members, people argue. So what I was feeling the first time I was doing the reading, and this time, of course, is Yoongi and J-Hope had a talk recently. They had a talk about something. And um, Yoongi had basically given him some wisdom. He had told J-Hope something, expressed something to J-Hope that was not necessarily taken the way he had expected to. So whatever wisdom that he wanted to bestow upon J-Hope, J-Hope took it very, he didn't take it well at all. And he was very hurt by this. Now, also um, J-Hope, as 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 J-Hope came up as Princess of Pentacles from Yoongi's point of view, even in J-Hope's reading, he comes up as Queen of Pentacles. So it's um, still a feminine energy for whatever reason, um, but, it's like J-Hope was informed of this. Like he, Yungi said what he said to him. It really, it really kind of destroyed J-Hope's whole foundations, whole thought process on things. And he had to go ahead and take a sit back. Um, he had to sit back and really think about what Yungi said, This, which is where the, um, which I feel like the hair font comes in. But the hair font is really talking about more of um, rules, strict rules and regulations. So it's almost like Yungi possibly had told him or talked to him about possibly um, breaking some sort of breaking some sort of rules or sort of like um, a morality check. Uh, there was something like that that happened here. And I feel like J-Hope kind of had to sit back and really think on that and maybe really realized there was a part, a time that he may have been in the wrong of something or something that he just needed to really genuinely reevaluate. So, and then the last is the four of wands, which is that cycle of their relationship was completed. So after Yugi did what he did, said what he said, and kind of um, had, and J-Hope had to eat that, um, basically, it came back where they are stabilized. Previously, when I did the reading, they were not stable. It, that was a few days ago. They, um, J Hope was still in the process of being very hurt. They were not stable, but um, now it's coming up that J Hope is finally stabilized in what Yungi has said. Um, he's more comfortable in what he had said, um, and they're back on um, good terms or decent terms right now. And that's basically all I have for their romance reading. I know it was supposed to be actually more romantic, but actually right at this time, it's not romance going on with them. It's like, yes, it's like almost like it's saying, yes, there are romantic feelings coming from Yungi, but generally what they're really concerned about is business and work and sort of... Um, making sure that everybody's on the same page, all right? So that's really what's going on with them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was very short. Let me know what you think. Um, and until next time, thanks for dining with me at the Lion's Den. I like that ending.